going to show you a hard drive here which cannot be detected. There is movement felt in this hard drive. I should just show you the hard drive and we apologize for a flickering screen but the hard drive is not detected. So in order to make a repair to this hard drive we need to test it and find out what the problem is. And we always suspect the resistors are a problem. So let me just show you this resistor is okay. And you can see we are testing either side of the resistor this resistor has no value and this is not ok and needs to be replaced so this one is ok 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 this one is ok, one is okay. just keep testing all the way along until you've found your faulty components then you can go ahead and make a replacement so in order to replace the component, first of all we need to desolder it. So just apply a small amount of solder onto the resistor. And just move it away from the logic board. Apply a small amount of solder to the pads. On a donor board, test your components, test the values. This component is no good. This one is. Show you. This one is, in fact, okay. Commonly these fuses have three pins either side. You need to test each side to make sure make sure that the resistor is working. Now we can remove the resistor. Just apply a small amount of solder just to the top of the resistor. Heat it and move it to your original client hard drive. You'll also need to clean all of the pins, make sure that none of the solder has any dry solder joints, none of the solder is bridged, and that all of the pins have dry solder, have clean solder. Take your take your fuse, your sorry, your resistor, align it back in place. Just use a small pin, tweezers if you can. And just melt the solder from the pins onto the pads. Do this on all six pins. Very carefully. If necessary, you may need to clean up some of your solar and try again.
the job doesn't go smooth the first time, don't be afraid to try again.